Scout leader discovers grave, a distressing headline that ran in the Oregonian in February of 1970. 54 years ago today, February 23rd, 1970, a Boy Scout leader was on the north end of Savi Island and had discovered some clothing. And as he investigated just a little bit further, he realized that there were human remains associated with that clothing. It was the body of a teenage girl. For over 50 years, she was nameless, her case unsolved. This was one of our oldest cases, definitely. Dr. Nikki Vance is Oregon's forensic anthropologist. For years, she worked to identify the girl from Savi Island. In 2018, the medical examiner's office received a federal grant that would fund new DNA testing. And the results were, were striking. And as you saw in the picture, there's this composite of what her facial features were predicted to look like based on her genetics. Then the team hit another standstill. We were very much at an injunction in 2021 and we knew we couldn't get much farther unless unless other family members uploaded their DNA to the same genetic genealogy database. And in 2023, they did. A family member uploaded their DNA to GEDmatch, a DNA matching site. That DNA turned out to be the key in identifying the girl. And that family tree got narrowed down and narrowed down to one name. We realized that this could potentially be Sandra Young. Finally, she had a name, Sandra Young, a Grant High School student. This is her yearbook photo. Yeah, what's that moment like when you're able to put a face on this person and put a name to this person who's been unknown for so long? We're excited that we can, we can go to the family and give them resolution. It's sad because we're not giving the family the news that they would love to hear. There's nothing wonderful about these circumstances, but... But to be able to sleep at night and know she's accounted for, that means a lot to a family. Well, unfortunately, investigators believe Sandra Young could be the victim of a violent crime. So this case is not over. Portland police are involved in the investigation. They told me they're doing what they can to get justice for Sandra.